just what I wanted to be trapped in the rain so we can slide to our death. It's storming horribly, guys. <laughs> I like hate a hurricane. That. Yeah, this is hurricane weather, Bridget. Oh my god, I'm so sad. I can't even tell a joke anymore. For some strange reason, Bridget thinks that this is what it's like during a hurricane. <laughs> and I have to remind her that it's not. Bridget, this is not, absolutely not, hurricane weather. Are you sure? Hurricane weather. Yeah, I'm pretty sure. What do you think, Bella? Hurricane weather? Okay, she's jumping around. <laughs> what the? Bella is like sitting on Clyde. That's so cute. Oh, she's just forcing him out of the chair. That's so sad. Bella, why did you do that? Come on, girl, I know it's raining, but we gotta go. This is exactly how I wanted to spend my day. Vlogging in the rain, taking the dogs to the... I could be home right now. Are they allowed to have treats? Oh, they're not allowed to have treats. We were filming. Hey. Uh, hey. Right. Hey. Right. Hey. Hey, do you do that to your brother? Yeah? Um, okay, Bella, okay. please stop, okay? Really? Hey. Oh, who's hey. gonna get double? You is bad. You're the bad girl. You need to be being saucy. Right. She's wearing her thing like a medallion. Say hi. Oh, okay, there it goes. All right. All right, Bella. Okay. <laughs> I expected it. Obviously, Bella's feeling fine. Oh my goodness, stop it. Oh, oh. okay, okay. <laughs> Bella humped the vet tech about 50 times. I think I got three on camera. It is lit. Now I'm gonna give him that treat I couldn't give him before. Is that good? Are these free? Oh yeah, that's fine. I wanna check something though on Twitter. Hey. What? Nothing? Excuse me? What? You know what? I was joking. Okay. It was fine. just, it was just a habit. <laughs> Look, dude, I got birthday plans on here, okay? For you. <laughs> Not buying it. Title. <laughs> what were you gonna say? Pick a voice cheating. Go ahead. Okay. I don't care, go through it. I have nothing to hide. Oh, yeah, that's you looking at Fortnite, okay? That's a meme. Go through it, okay? Let me know when you're done. Well, you're the one being a freaking weirdo. Give me your phone. No. <gasps> oh my gosh. Uh oh. So, what are you hiding? What? Are you cheating on me? Okay, you were just going through my phone. Barely. It's right here. Okay, it is what it is. If you want to be that person who accuses me of something. <gasps> Bridget, it's a knee jerk reaction. I don't like people going through my phone. Where's yours? Hey! Yeah. Hey! Someone else No, you can't go through my phone. I can only go through yours. You can't leave your phone. We're trading. <laughs> Take this. No. You better give me your phone. No! <laughs> you I understand the feeling. I don't like it. Yeah, exactly. I get it. It feels controlling. Yeah. Give me your phone. No. <laughs> I'm not kidding. Give me your phone right now. Why? Because you're accusing me of something, so I want to see yours now. You went through my phone. I did not go through yours. Yeah, you did. I went to our text messages, honey. Give me your I phone. I don't think you're cheating on me with me. I'm dead. I'm not kidding. Go Seriously? Dog. Go, doggy. You're going to stay here for the bath. I need help. I'm getting an Uber and I'm leaving. Seriously? I guess just you and me, guys. And Kenny, was joking. Oh my god, thank god, because we're about to have it out in that parking lot, honey. <laughs> Let me tell you now. Bella's doing pretty good. What's not good, however, is Bridget parked here because there was no spaces over here. So she's like basically in the middle of the road here. I'm waiting for her to get towed. What do you think, girl? Let's get you in the car. We're going home. I just noticed somebody put R.I.P. H.E.P. on Bridget's window. Thank you, whoever did that. I really do appreciate it. We're back home from the vet. The dogs are doing good. Things are finally starting to look up. And now it's time for my Throwback Thursday story time video. You know, I was racking my brain on what kind of story I could tell. And one of them was the time me and Grandpa went to Orlando and there was drugs in the car. But <laughs> I decided not to tell that one. I'm going to save that for a couple of weeks. Smack the like button if you want to hear it and I will tell it. I decided to tell one about my birthday because my birthday is in just a couple of days and 
I wanted to talk about my favorite one. Because it's a little bittersweet talking about now that he's gone. Uh, my favorite birthday with Grandpa. Throwback Thursday story time. Let's do this. My birthday's in just a couple of days and I was sitting here thinking about all the birthdays that I've had in the past and all the stuff that dad did for me and the parties and all the amazing times and I was wondering what would be my favorite birthday? What would be my favorite thing dad ever gave me? And it goes back to the day I turned 17. And all he gave me was a phone call. But I still think about that phone call. And there's a lot of happy memories I could talk about. There's times where dad woke me up in the morning. We spent the whole day together. We got breakfast and we went and got lunch after that. <laughs> and we went and got video games and had a good time. And dad just made me feel special on my birthday. But that's not what I want to talk about. I want to talk about a bigger meaning here. You know, when I turned 17, me and dad, uh, we weren't talking at the time. Growing up, I was always there for my dad. No matter what the circumstance, I always had his back. He always had my back. We loved each other and I was always, I was always somebody he could count on. I was always there for him because I loved him. He was my best friend. He was my dad, you know? I was always there for him no matter what. Then one day me and my dad got into this huge shouting match and I said some shit and he said some shit and I was like, you know what? I'm out. I'm going to Charleston. I'm going to see my family who loves me because you clearly don't. And now that I look back on it, I'm like, why did I say that? What was the point? Because dad obviously loved me. And I don't even remember why we were fighting to begin with. It was probably something stupid. I wanted Chinese for dinner and he said no. And I flipped out because I was always a little asshole growing up. I always had this sense of entitlement that I had to get rid of. And dad, I'm sorry for that. I don't know why we were fighting to begin with, but I left for the entire summer to go hang out with my family and I left dad. And I didn't think about him the whole time. I was with my family. We'd go out to dinner every night and we had good times and we watched TV and dad would call and I would say, oh, tell him I'll call him back. And I wouldn't. And those are the kind of things you're going to think about, you guys. If your father passes, when your father passes. You're gonna look back on all the stuff that you could have done differently. The phone calls you could have answered. The phone calls you should have answered. And that's just one of them. So my birthday comes, it's June 2nd, and he calls and I, and I answered this one. I was like, let me talk to my dad. And we were on the phone together and he was like, how's it feel to be 17? And I said, it feels like 16. And he said, that's what happens, Mike. The years go by and one day I won't be here. <laughs> and he said that and I regretted everything instantly. I was like, he's right. What am I even doing in Charleston? Why am I not spending my birthday with my dad? And I told him that. And he got in the car and he drove to... I'm sorry for crying, you guys. Didn't mean to do that in this vlog. He got into the car and he drove to Charleston and he picked me up an hour and a half later. Like that, because I wanted to spend my birthday with my dad. And I regretted all the fighting and all the stuff that I said and... I still regret it today. I know these past couple of months have been like... A trip into my psychosis and people say that I've been using his death for views and... It's not the case. I wish I didn't have to make videos like this. I really wish he was here. So uh, that's my uh, favorite birthday. 
that I had with my father. We weren't talking, we weren't on speaking terms, and uh, he called me for my birthday, he asked me how it felt, and I just wanted to spend time with him, and he picked me up, and we got back to Columbia, and we went to Chinese, that was our spot, we loved Chinese food, dad loved going to Chinese buffets, and we went there, and we just talked all night. And that was it. That's all. It was a phone call and he picked me up. And the gesture was enough. It's my favorite birthday. And uh, the words are hard to say here, but this is going to be my first birthday in my life without dad. And I don't like it. I want him to call me and be like, hey, I made your favorite. I made you some pot roast. Come get it. And I'll never have that again. Sorry for uh, crying, you guys, but I'm real. I don't want to do any fake shit. You guys know the real me. I do want to say that June is going to be a good month for Angry Grandpa fans. Because uh, I have to start putting some of these videos out. I can't just harbor them and hold on to them and not share them with everybody that wants them. I have to put them out. I have to do what's right. So that's what I'm going to start doing. I'm going to make a plan. I'm going to go look at everything that I got. I got cooking videos. I got pranks. And I'm going to start uh, populating that channel again. I got I to gotta start getting out of this depression. I've been slowly rising from those ashes and I've been trying to become a better person and and be somebody that you guys can respect and appreciate and love again and just not feel sorry for me, I guess. So I'm trying to rise up from those ashes and I promise you guys I'm gonna try my hardest to make my father proud. I've been doing a good job holding it together. The past uh, you know month and a half I've been really, uh, I've been a lot stronger. And I think it shows in the vlogs. I think our happiness shows. I think that we're reaching a point where I miss dad like crazy, but I have these spells like today where thinking about him, I will cry. But usually I don't just cry like that anymore. Usually I have to think about him and then I'll cry. Uh, and I hope it'll get better because it's a hard life, man. It is hard to live like this. It's about to be six months without my dad. And a lot of people don't get that. Uh, I need to stop now. I'm just being too sad here. But that's the story. It's my birthday. I get sad every birthday. But this one's going to be really hard. So that's the story. Uh, sorry for crying. Sorry if you think I embarrassed myself. I don't think that I did. I'm, I'm proud to be able to show my emotions like this. My feelings. Not everybody does it. We're just coming so I'm stopping. I'm not crying in front of Bridget. <laughs> uh... Yeah, that's the story. So, did you walk out the room for a second? <laughs> I don't, yeah. don't want to cry in front of you. It's all right, babe. I turned off your washing machine, by the way. Michael! I can't tell my story if the washing machine's going. <laughs> so that's the story, you guys. Uh, thank you guys for all the support, all the love. I appreciate it tremendously more than I could thank you guys for buying the shirts and showing your support and just everything that you've done for my family I thank you I I love you more than I could put into words I'm getting out of here that's it for the vlog I'm sorry if it's short and I'm sorry for depressing you uh, I love you guys I know I clickbait sometimes and I know it pisses you off and I'm sorry for that but sometimes you got to do what you got to do to survive on YouTube that's, that's rule number one on YouTube. There is a thing called video expectations in the algorithm. And that decides if your video is going to do well or not. So sometimes you have to make it enticing and interesting to do well under that video expectations. And I'm sorry for pissing you guys off sometimes. And I really try hard not to like straight up clickbait. I never lie. Everything that I say is actually true. It's just twisted and bent in a certain way. So that I do apologize for. Uh, 
my dad was a YouTuber, he would have been the one telling me to do it. <laughs> so, I'm getting out of here. Thanks for watching, you guys. I apologize for crying. Thank you from the bottom of my heart for everything. Like, subscribe, favorite.